What is going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I am back for another shave. Um, I have been testing a new soap. I have uh, one other new soap that I'm super excited about. It's the uh, new Kaizen um, soap and aftershave by um, a and &E. I was blown away by the wood or the wood um, soap that they had, which was their new base at the time. Um, that was by far the best soap that I had tried, better than milk steak in my opinion, on the same base, I guess. Well, I guess on the same level as milk steak and Sierra. Um, so uh, those, or that was the best one at the time, but now apparently Kaizen is supposed to be even better than that. And it got a great review on Rudd's uh, Shaves. He gave it a 101. And I've got high expectations for that soap, so I'm excited. Uh, but today, um, uh, I have the new Monarch and their new base that, that was just released. I guess the V3, I believe is what it's called. And um, this was actually a gift from a friend, a great friend of mine, who I have uh, introduced into the wet shaving. I helped him through his first um, shave the other day. Excuse me. And so he actually... Um, he tested, I had a bunch of samples and Monarch was his favorite, so I gave him my sample. And he ended up buying a tub for him and a tub for me and I bought the aftershave. <laughs> and it just smells heavenly. Um, let me read the notes off for you. Lavender, powder, cognac, coffee, orange, neroli, hyacinth, sandalwood, and vanilla. You can see it has a, just a normal soap, very standard. Um, there's what the ingredients are and the actual design I've said this once but Noble Otter has by far the best uh, product design out there their packaging is phenomenal and then I am going to be using my all-time favorite blade the Paul Silver Super Iridium and I'm going to load that in a Mercur 34C. And I've got it loaded up in my little empty container. And we've got the tried and true Paragon Shaving Brush. Favorite brush. It's awesome. So I'm going to get uh, myself loaded up here. Um, what I'm mainly going to be talking about today is my experience with... Uh, premium hardware um, so the super expensive brushes super expensive um, uh, mainly razors brushes uh, that's that's one thing um, but I'm gonna be talking about mainly razors so um, we're gonna go ahead and get lathered up here and I will see you uh, when I start shaving and I take that back see look I'm just <laughs> I'm still getting used to this uh, Recording and what should I show and whatnot, but since it's a new soap um, I feel like I should talk about it um, just a little bit in my experience in testing um, so um, It is definitely a much softer soap than the sample that I had um, Which was the old base I guess uh, much softer, like a, almost a croup. Um, the smell is obviously the exact same. Beautiful scent. Strong off the puck. And it is strong when lathering. Um, it is gorgeous. It's definitely on the sweeter side. I The first thing that comes to mind is blueberries. And I've said that time and time again about this. I'm not saying that it smells just like blueberries. That's just what comes to mind. I definitely get that lavender and a rolly scent up front. A little bit of that, that cognac is really, really beautiful too. Um, just a really beautiful scent profile. And uh, the performance is um, uh, pretty good. Uh, very, very solid. Um, you're going to get a great shave with this. Um, that's pretty standard from all of these reputable artisans. Really nothing... It's nothing um, groundbreaking in my opinion. I'm expecting the A&E 
to be groundbreaking. Um, a because of all the reviews I've been I've been seeing of it so far, um, and the fact that my experience with the wood has been incredible as well. And that base, beautiful smell too. Um, so yeah, it lathers up beautifully. Um, very nice thick leather. Um, I think I think the idea of the average soap now is just so good that you kind of just I hesitate to call this average, but in the soap um, industry <laughs> for wet shaving, average is the new standard and it's a pretty dang good standard to be at. Um, the artisans, they just, they uh, kind of got in a race, uh, a foot race to make the absolute best soap. And I got to say, there are, there are not very many slackers here. And this soap is definitely not an exception. I mean, you can see right there, 20, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful thickness, good density. It is definitely an improvement um, over the last base that they had. Definitely an improvement. Um, very good. I hesitate to call this better than milk steak. Milk steak, in my opinion, is a little. Milk steak, in my opinion, is, is easier to lather, in my opinion. This is all subjective, by the way. Milk steak is a little easier to lather. Um, maybe a touch slicker. But still, superb performance. I hate when something gets in my nose. I mean, just tons and tons of soap. I've, I have found that um, I need to load a little more soap with this to get the best results. So I have to scoop out the full one-fourth teaspoon, whereas on some of my other soaps, I don't need to load as heavy on the dosage. Almost done here, just gonna add a little more water. And I'm gonna call that good. I mean, just look at all this. Look at that beautiful shine. Just soap for days. Look at that. Beautiful. Tons of soap on the brush. All right. Here we go. So, soap is great. So I wanna talk about um, my journey with uh, really ultra premium razors. Before I mention what I'm gonna, before I give my opinion, I wanna disclaim this by saying, if you enjoy this hobby, which if you're watching this, you do, more than likely, I, enjoy this hobby very much. Um, it is easy, especially with my personality, to get sucked in very quickly. I like to have the best of everything. 
when it's something that I'm into. And what I'm into tends to change a lot. There's no, nothing bad about it. The good thing is I get to I really diversify in uh, what I get interested in. So I know a lot about a lot of stuff. Super smooth. So that takes me to when I'm first getting into this. Uh, I ended up getting the Edwin Jagger 36, 316. Now I would not consider that a luxury razor or I should say I'm going to say ultra premium razor it's just not is it a nice luxurious razor yeah yeah and uh it's got a hundred I believe a hundred dollar or a hundred twenty dollar price tag which is expensive but it's not unreasonable I think that I, what I've learned, anything over $100 is just not worth it, in my opinion. Because ever since I started wet shaving, I have been getting the best shaves of my life every time, at least once I got the hang of what I was doing. Didn't start off that way. No one does, unless you're just... A miracle but once I got the hang of it I started getting the best shaves of my life every time and that's the beauty of wet shaving that's what is so attractive about this let me wash this off that's the beautiful thing about this hobby is you get the beautiful performance, the sleekness of the soaps. Um, you get to choose, customize your experience, try all these products. It's exciting. Um, and on top of that, it's a good experience, lathering, shaving, but at the end, at the end of the day, you get the best shave of your life every time. Um, and you can adjust your shave. You can get super close. You can get just good enough. You can Whatever you want. It's really it's really a good experience. And it took me a two hundred dollar charcoal goods razor to realize you don't need to spend that much money to get the best shaves of your life and still enjoy it. To give you an example. I could have, you know, if I didn't, yes, it's a hobby, and for me, I like the soaps. For me, soaps and aftershaves, those are my my favorite part. Hardware, um, I don't really care so much about because I know, as long as it's not an overly aggressive razor, I know that it's going to be comfortable enough and, and give me a great shave. For me, software is my bread and butter. I love soaps and aftershaves. I love the smell. And I know the performance is going to give me um, great slickness and a comfortable shave. So software is my shtick. So just give me any razor you want and I'll shave with it as long as I have the hard the software that I like. And that's the beautiful thing about soaps. $20, $20 soaps may be expensive for a soap, but because I'm not going out and buying a ton of razors, which are more expensive, I'm fine with $20 luxury soaps. And uh, they smell great, perform great, and that's awesome. That's just me, my personal experience. So, I'm all about soaps. 
and it took me, like I was saying, it took me a charcoal goods razor $200 later to realize that, that I'm okay with a Mercur 34C. I'm okay with my JFK um, Replitech razor for $45. These are, I think the Mercurs are what, 35, 40 bucks? Anything over $100 for a razor is just too much, in my opinion. Um, and in fact, what I found was I had less enjoyment with the charcoal goods razor than I did with any of my other cheaper razors or any of the other cheaper razors that I was using, which I thought was weird because I understood and appreciated the value of what I was shaving with, with the charcoal goods. But it was just like, it was almost like overkill, you know? I just appreciated that I was able to get an incredible shave with a razor that was just reasonable priced. It felt good. It's hard to explain. I hope that you can understand that. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you, uh, what I'm trying to get across. Um, and I found myself wanting to shave with my JFK razor and my, and the, uh, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Prismatic and the Mercur I wanted to shave with those more often and it was just so weird and what I realized is I just got more enjoyment out of that and the soaps um, than I did because I was able to get the same the exact same shaving experience I guess or the exact same shaving result and it was still super comfortable, super smooth. The only difference was it wasn't hand machined and, and uh, maybe it's not up to the same tolerances, but I mean, for me, it just didn't make a difference. And in fact, it was the opposite for some reason. You can get mad all you want in the comments, but for me, I just, the value was not justified. So that, I ended up selling the razor for 180. So all in all, $20 to learn that experience and to be able to apply that in other areas of my life, that thought process, um, it was well worth it. So for me, I really, don't want to be spending the majority of my money towards razors. Um, I prefer to spend it in soaps. Because I just love the scents and uh, the performances there. Um, all the razors, in my opinion, as long as they're on the more mild side, I will enjoy it. I prefer more mild razors. Another example, and this is a razor I do want, and it's $100, um, is the Rockwell 6S. That was also one of um, uh, a razor that I really enjoyed. And that's at the top of what I'd be willing to spend $100. Fantastic value. I really do miss that razor. And at $100, you're getting incredible, incredible manufacturing. Great materials. And at the end of the day, you feel good because you didn't spend so much money. Please don't mistake this for me knocking you if you choose to purchase one of those. No, that's not what I'm saying. Is there a lot of 
value in those razors, yeah. Materials, what's going into it is, you know, to some people worth it. And if you have that kind of money, then absolutely go for it. I just had to realize it wasn't for me and I got, see, look at this, two pass shave, phenomenal. No irritation, no nicks, and a $35 razor. Perfectly happy with that. It just, you have to find, I guess my word of advice is find what makes you the happiest when shaving. If it's, if it's, you know, a, uh, a, this is a, a synthetic brush. I find those to be a lot less expensive. Um, here, let me wash this off real quick. Um, just to touch on brushes, um, for me, I'm fine with a cheap synthetic brush. They're easy to clean, they are quick, easy to lather, um, and they're just no hassle. So for me, the lathering, it's not that big of a deal for me because the synthetics are they're easy to lather with. Um, it allows me to, it allows me to use my soap that I like, which is where I get most of my my pleasure from and enjoyment. Um, so for me, uh, a synthetic brush is beautifully soft, um, lathers up super easy, easy to load. It dries quickly. So for me, synthetic brushes are my favorite or are, are my favorite out of the the materials that you can use a brush out of. Now I did get a luxury synthetic. I like the handle, um, but you can get synthetic brushes that work just fine for 20 bucks. And honestly, that's what I would have gotten. I don't even know. I just really like the handle. Okay. That's, that's, that's all I'm going to say. And that thing lathers like a monster. Okay. I don't know what fibers he uses, but it lathers incredibly. So, if your stick is brushes, then, then buy all the brushes that you can handle. And if you want, buy the $300 Declaration Grooming Custom Brushes or wherever you want it, you get it. If your stick is razors and you don't care that much about soaps, then buy the charcoal goods, buy the timeless, buy the carbon, if that's what makes you happy. If you can afford it. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna stay out of that. Um, if every aspect is your stick and everything has to be top notch, then that's that. I Are you getting what I'm, what I'm going at, what I'm, where I'm getting at? So my stick is software, soaps and aftershaves. I always buy the set if it's available. Um, I want to smell like the amazing soap scent all day or as long as I can. Um, here, here it is again, Monarch, beautiful packaging, beautiful. Smells amazing. Um, so yeah, that's why you can see there, I've just got a ton ton of um of soaps there and aftershaves and that's that's what gives me the most enjoyment and so that's where i'm going to spend most of my money and the good thing is, is that the most expensive soap is what maybe 30 bucks and that's holy cow and for me that's fine because i'm not getting a bunch of razors i'm fine with just a couple of razors so it's just whatever makes whatever makes you the happiest. Now, blades, those are cheap, relatively. Um, the um, the Paul Silvers are quite expensive. I mean, there's like 30 bucks for a 100 pack. Um, that is quite expensive. I'm really 
debating on whether or not I should I should get that, but I do like to have I don't like I would rather have a lot of blades to to use instead of just one blade. I do like a variety of blades. That's just kind of fun, just pairing. Um, so anyway, that's the end of my rant. I hope you um, found the uh, the soap, or what I had to say about the soap, I hope you found that useful. And let me know what you think in the comments about whatever. Let me know what your stick is what you get the most enjoyment out of when you're shaving. Um, and also I'd be curious to think uh, about what you think about the ultra premium razors or I guess whatever, the ultra premium market, I guess. Um, where would you say is your cost of, or I guess diminishing returns? Um, I'd be very interested. So um, um, keep a lookout for the Kaizen soap review. Um, that should be next, so I will see you guys later. Bye.